Okay, I'm gonna to try to keep this short and sweet if possible. My name is James Herring. I uh, work here at 216 Miracle Mile at Red Herring Pottery. Um, I got this space through a program called Studios on the Mile that began back in October of this, of this past year and um, now uh, has actually come to an end, but I've worked out a deal to stay on longer here. So I'm planning to be here as long as I possibly can. And what I do here is I teach classes uh, in, in my back room here. I have five wheels. I teach classes to uh, anybody who comes in uh, and is interested. And uh, I get a little walk by traffic here. Um, but I also am trying to provide some scholarships for, for students or folks who may not normally be able to afford a pottery class. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm serving the entire community, not just the people who can afford a, a class. So um, uh, the program was put together by, uh, by the Terra Nova group here um, that own this property, the city, um, the Coral Gables Business Development Office, and uh, Carol Damon was the curator. And so I want to thank all those people uh, because I'm only here because of their generosity. So um, I did want to just give you a minute background about me. I, I've been making pots for about 40 years. Uh, I started off uh, in high school. I, I, I took some classes with a local potter here. His name was Eddie Way. I don't know if anybody remembers Eddie Way, but Eddie Way was a great potter who started out as a painter, then started moving into making pottery and did these um, incredible pieces that were uh, that were painted on ceramic forms that were uh, amazing. And then I had my other influences were, were Warren McKenzie and Michael Simon, who I, who I had as instructors early on. Um, and of course, those guys are, are giants of ceramics, so I'm not trying to compare myself to them, but uh, I try to think maybe one day I'll make something uh, that'll be as nice as the kind of stuff they, they made. But one last thing I wanted to talk about this phase. This phase is part of a project called, uh, that I've initiated that's called uh, The Language of Flowers. So I'll be having this piece on my website during the uh, Boards Festival. And um, the idea of the project is to, is to have uh, local potter groups uh, get together with their local Ikebana societies the potters create these vases, the, the Ikebana group create, create uh, arrangements for the vases, they're auctioned off, and the funds go to an organization that is trying to curb gun violence. I did this project initially back in 2019 in January at the Coral Gables Museum, and we did raise about $5,000 that was given to a group called uh, Parkland Cares, so this was about a year after the Parkland shootings. So uh, I was planning to do it again at Encica in 2020, but of course that got canceled due to COVID. So uh, I still have a lot of those vases. Well-known ceramic artists from around the country and internationally uh, had contributed and um, I'm holding on to that and I plan to still do that project uh, at some point uh, when things kind of calm down. So just keep an eye out on my, on my Instagram page, or, uh, Red Herring Pottery, or uh, redherringpottery.com, my, my uh, website, and I'll be announcing that um, initiative again soon, okay? Thank you so much. I just wanted to introduce myself, and uh, thank you for taking a look.